All right, guys, it's your spiritual kickoff of the week. I'm excited to have you here. So let's dig right into the word and let's get going. All right, so we're going to be in the book of Colossians. Okay, so Colossians chapter one, looking at one verse this week, verse 27, to whom God will to make known what the, the wealth of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles is, the mystery that is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So guys, we're going to really unpack this scripture. We're going to hopefully see how we can simplify and apply it and make it part of our daily walk, okay? So first of all, I need to understand <laughs> at the gate, where is Colossians? I know it can be hard to find some of these books. This is actually in the middle of Paul's letters. It comes after Philippians. It's before 1 Thessalonians, okay? So it's it's pretty small though. In my, in my Bible, it's only like two or three pages. So you may, you may miss it. That's okay. I guarantee you'll find it. It's only four chapters. So just give yourself a little bit of grace. If you go, again, go to Philippians, just keep turning, and then I guarantee you'll get there, all right? So that, that's where it's at. So Paul, the Apostle Paul, wrote this to the church in Col Colossae during his first imprisonment in Rome, okay? So that's when this was written. So uh, what this particular verse is here is actually at the end of a sentence that starts at verse 25. And I thought, you know what? I know we just usually look at one verse, but to give a little context, I thought it would help to read the first part of verse 2. So here's the beginning of verse 25. It says, of this church, I was made a minister according to the stewardship from God bestowed on me for your benefit so that I might fully carry out the preaching of the word of God. And here's verse 26. That is the mystery that which has been hidden from the past ages and the generations, but has now been manifested to his saints. Verse 27, which is our verse that we're in today, to whom God will to be made known what the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So guys, I really thought it was good here. If you, if you listen, if you just follow along with me there, the, the, the mystery here is not just that the Gentiles will be blessed, but the Jews and the Gentiles will be equal heir, heirs in the body of Christ. Okay, that is really a powerful verse right there. Okay, because again, who did Jesus come for? Not just for the Jews, but for the Jews and the Gentiles. And Paul touches on this in Ephesians 3. Uh, so if we go to just really quickly, guys, I, I really think it's important to, as we as we dig into the word well, to have these different reference points. So if you go to Ephesians three, look at verse three. It actually says, by the re revelation, there was made known to me the mystery, as I wrote before in brief. Again, that mystery here again, Gentiles, they're going to be blessed and the Jews, they're going to be blessed and they're going to be co, co heirs. They will be equal in the body of Christ. So Paul and, and, and Colossians here, Paul is making sure that those in the church recognizes who Jesus is providing salvation for. Everyone, everyone is. I mean, he's the ultimately DEI, right? He is definitely diversity, equity, equity, inclusion. He is it. Jesus is for everyone, but it takes surrendering to him. OK, so this was wild thinking back then. And, and this is this is not readily accepted. I guarantee you this was not accepted by many. And and look what he's saying that God is making known just in this one verse. God is making known Christ in you. This is one of the few times that that Paul actually uses this direct language verbiage here. But it's extremely powerful because think about it just for, for a minute. Just think about it. We talk about the line within us all the time. And essentially, we're pointing to the Holy Spirit that guides each and every one of us as a believer. You know, we call that the line within. And the crazy part of the Trinity when you think about it, you got, got three in one. So you have God, the Father, Son, the Holy, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. So in Christ, right, in each one of us, he is in as one of his believers. And, it, and it's hard to wrap our minds around, guys. This can be mind-blowing type stuff when you try to, to actually figure it out. And then it gets, you know, kind of kind of gets stuck with, how can I have Christ in me when I'm wicked? You don't know the stuff I've done, bro. You don't know the stuff, God. There's no way I can have Christ in me it, because it'd be, I, I'm just too bad. And you know what? Alone, it would be impossible, right? It is completely impossible when we try to do it on our own. But when we will surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. That old, that old self dies. So that old Chris, the, 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 the one who was just walking my way, that, that dude ain't here no more, right? And the mystery is revealed. And that mystery. It's so beautiful when we receive that new heart in Christ, right? And when we have that new heart, guess what comes? Right here it says in, in God's word in Colossians, the hope of glory. That's a true hope. That's the true hope, guys. 
And we all have that hope when we confess him as Lord, because we have that. When we do that, he tells us, he gives us the gift of eternal life, that, that, that gift that waits for us. And this is what the hope of glory, guys, is all about. Okay. Now, since we have this hope, what are we supposed to do with it? Just keep it in our back pocket? No, no. We have this hope. We should share it with others. Share it with others. Look all around you and see the people that, that, are, that are in your, that, that are in this world who have lost hope. They have lost it. You know, just as I'm recording this, I know we're, we, we're kind of back on when we record stuff versus when stuff actually releases, but this is around the time of the recording is when the Nashville shooting happened. And I look there and I see, you know, six people, innocent people, three of them, nine years old kids. And I, and having a, a 10 year old daughter, you know, I have a 12 year old daughter too. Obviously I have, we have four, but having one right there at that age, man, it doesn't take long to see how much hatred is out there, how much hurt is in the world. You know, and it's just, when you see stuff like this happen, you know, it, it, it just breaks your heart as a Christian. It really does. It breaks your, it breaks your heart. It makes you wonder, how can I possibly have any hope in anything that matters? And it all for me, it always has to come down to the name above all names. And that name is Jesus. So maybe you're in a pit right now. Things really suck. And you can't, can't seem to get out. And or maybe you're just, you know, if you're like me, you feel like every time you turn around, you're changing the calendar because another month has come and gone. And you're trying to figure out where in the world has happened. You know, you, 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 you look in the mirror, you don't even recognize the guy staring back at you. You're like, what? Where, where, how did 20 years go by? Right. Or maybe you get these notifications. I get them too from sometimes and it shows you pictures of stuff that happens, you know, five, six, 10 years ago, whatever. And it seems like it was just yesterday. You know, I just need you guys in, in, the, in those moments, just take a deep breath and know that the hope of glory is available to all those that surrender and believe. And then once you have that understanding, right, then you get that peace that passes all understanding. But you got to have that understanding first. So just don't put this again. This is not just for us to hold on to, fellas. We have to be able to share this with others. Okay. And, and sharing this most wonderful, impossible, incredible news with others. Help them see the mystery, you know, the mystery that, 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 that awaits when you have Christ in you. Guys, I'm telling you, when you start doing that, you start leaning into this stuff and you start thinking about, okay, how can I just, just, just a regular dude do the work that God's called me to do? Well, you start off by, by sharing the love of Christ with others. And don't worry so much about what you know and what you don't know, guys. I get, I get that, that imposter syndrome, the fear all the time. There's so many more people that, that know God's word, that are better speakers, that are more eloquent, that have better vocabularies. The list goes on and on and on. But you know what? God's qualifying me every day. He's putting me through that process of sanctification. I'm, getting, I'm growing stronger, not on my own, but because of him. But it takes obedience. Obedience by you guys. I'm thankful, so thankful you guys listen to the podcast. I know the spiritual kickoffs. We have a lot of great feedback on the S on the SKOs that you guys really enjoy this. Don't let this be the only time you're in the Word today, though. I, I challenge our community. I, I go live every day inside our community. I re read scripture. We have a daily spiritual kickoff inside the community, and I challenge my guys even there. Look, I'm giving you guys 20, 30 minutes of scripture every day. This can't be your only time in the Word. You have to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with God. So take that time. Okay, guys. So this week, we're going to be talking a lot about forgiveness. Okay. So that just to kind of give you some insight to, to what to be thinking about as we move forward. So I want you to be thinking, getting ready for our, episode, our meet episode on Wednesday. How do you know when you've truly forgiven others? Like really think through that. When you've truly forgiven someone, how do you know that, that you've checked that box? And it's hard. It's hard, fellas. I totally get it. I suck at this. I mean, this is something that I really struggle with sometimes of uh, forgiveness. Like I'll go through the motions of forgiveness, but then I forget, right? Maybe, maybe you become a historian when, when things start happening. So I, we're going to really, I brought in a guest, guys. It's going to be a really good conversation. It's going to help you guys. It definitely helped me grow in my, in my knowledge of forgiveness of what that looks like and how I can actually start walking that out. Okay. So now, for our spiritual kickoffs, if you've listened to us this far and, and, and you're still here, thank you. Now, if you listen to, to us this far and you're still here and you're not a Christian and you never submitted your, your 
your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, this is your opportunity. Because you, you're here and you're curious. And you're asking questions. And, I, and hey, you're doing the right stuff. You're doing your research. And I'm going to make it very simple for you. You have to admit it's your sinner. Just admit it. Hey, hey, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Again, you're not a, you're not a mistake or need of a life coach. Nope, we don't need coaches. We need saviors. Big difference. I coach softball. I can't save you be a savior to anybody on that team. There's only one person that can, Jesus Christ. You have to believe that he is the son of God. I mean, truly believe with all your heart that he is the son of God. You have to confess him as Lord. And I mean, Lord, guys, it can't just be teacher. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. It can't just be teacher. He has to be Lord. Once you confess him as Lord, then the Holy Spirit will come and dwell you. You have that new heart. We, we like to call it a line within. And you'll be able, ready to do the work he's called you to do. So, guys, if you're ready to, 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 to truly surrender to the Lordship, let's pray. Father, I just know there's listeners out there right now, and they've had questions about you. And they don't know. They don't know why they're even listening to this right now. But you do. You've put them here. And I pray, Lord, if you are calling them and you're calling them to repentance and you're calling them to you, that they take action, that they pray this prayer with me and they accept you as their Lord and their Savior over their life. And at this moment, they have the new heart. They have the Holy Spirit is being poured out upon them. I pray you give them courage, strength, that you give them wisdom, discernment, that you put people in their path going to help guide and direct them in their walk. And Lord, I'm just so thankful for it. We have this opportunity to, to share the good news of the gospel with the others through a crazy media like podcasting. But we want to ultimately point everybody that we can to you. We pray everything according to your will. In Jesus name. Amen. So, guys, if you just or girls, if you just submit your life to the Lordship of Jesus, I need you to send me one favor. Send me an email because I want to send you some resources for free. Support at the line within dot U.S. That's support at the line within dot U.S. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some 10 scriptures you need to fight like a lion. I just want to, first of all, give you a virtual fist pump, high five, let you know, hey, we're here for you. We're praying for you. But I want to get you ready because you just entered to the battlefield. You know, the, the blinders are off. Now you're in the game. It's time to be able to be ready because I'm telling you, it's going to get tough. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you that if you hang, if you stay strong and stay co connected to the word and be obedient to the Holy Spirit, man, get out the way because you're going to be on fire. All right, fellas. I hope if you're enjoying this stuff, I do a daily spiritual kickoff Monday through Friday inside our community at the line within us every morning. Go live. We post it as well for the guys that can't make it. The only way you access that content is inside the community. So go to the lionwithin.us. That's the, the lionwithin.us. Start your 30 day free trial. Come hang out with me every day for, for our spiritual kickoffs. Let that scripture kind of be a good way to get your day going, get your day started. Come to all of our events, all our resources. Guys, I'm telling you, it's happening in there each and every day. We're growing, we're serving, we're helping each, each one of these guys be the leader God intends them to be. So if that's you and you're ready to get off the sidelines and just stop being a side by Christian or a back row Baptist, whatever you want to call it, and actually start leaning into your faith and walking this stuff out, come join us. Come join us at the line within US. All right, fellas, get after it. Come back on Wednesday. We're going to have a really good episode. I'm telling you, this one on Wednesday around forgiveness is powerful. It's going to help you. It's going to give you a lot of wisdom and insight and that you'll be able to, to not only take and utilize, it will improve your marriage. It will improve your relationship with your kids. You can improve some things with your with your career, maybe with your boss that you're struggling with right now. I guarantee you, we all have these areas that when you think about what's forgiveness, this is it. And this is going to really help us lean into that and exercise that muscle and start putting to practice what what Christ has called us to do, right? And be be the, the lead forgivers out there. All right, fellas, we'll see you next time. Get after it. Have a great day. Now, unleash the lion within. Are you enjoying the weekly spiritual kickoff? If so, we are now offering a way to participate in our live daily spiritual kickoffs that happen Monday through Friday in our community. This is your chance to chat with me directly and other members of our community to dive into scripture and to leave with practical ways to simplify and apply God's word to your daily walk. And here's the best part. You get all of this for just $5 a month. So for what most people pay for a breakfast meal, you can join us on this journey of spiritual growth and leadership, which will always lead you full. Our community is dedicated to supporting each other and pushing forward in our faith. 
Come join me in the lion's den and become the leader God intends you to be. Sign up now at thelionwithin.us and let's start this journey together. Remember, it's only $5 a month for this amazing opportunity. So visit thelionwithin.us so you don't miss out. Thank <laughs> you.